Hello everybody. Well, um, today I thought I'd just show you uh, another lighting project that I'm currently walk, uh, currently doing. Uh, so for today, for the project, I'm currently restoring this old AJ Ferguson Zodiac baton, which I scored recently off off uh, Marketplace. Um, I scored this with a, a green dial, which is right here. That's a green dial. Okay. I don't know who makes it. It might be made by Fawn Lighting. I don't really know who makes the green dial. I'll have to take a look into it. Okay, but with this Zodiac, I'm currently restoring it. And as you can see, this Zodiac is um, in pretty worse a condition than the previous Zodiacs I restored. Um, as you can see, when I opened it up, it's all the inside of the chassis is all full of this. Ugh, I can't describe it. It's, it's either uh, silt or um, or just crap okay i don't know what it is okay the plate is a bit rusted and a bit filthy as you can see this is the plate okay on the for the previous zodiac restorations the plates on them weren't as in bad condition as this they uh, had very little rust on them this one here is absolutely filthy so from i think there probably may have been water soaking in this light batten for a little while and that's probably what might have done this to it okay so i have um gotten it apart so far I, this is the part that goes on the top or the side um here when you're um, not using it um this one here wasn't that bad um i've since cleaned this up and it cleaned up very well like okay, i scrubbed it with the wire brush and it's actually gotten most of the rubbish off okay this all um be painted okay um i do need to make a new seal because there's rubber seal that would go around this. The original seals were no good. So um, I can make a new seal. Um, for the seal, I just use a, a rubber, like a rubber tape, okay, which I've got in this tub right here. You can probably see right there. That's the rubber tape. And also there's a new, a new rubber seal in there for the, the light. I'll just get this out and I'll show you the parts for this fitting, uh, which I use. Okay, so this here is what I'll use to make a new seal for that. And this here will be a new seal to put around the rim. Okay, so this is um, just some rubber seal. You can buy this at Bunnings. Okay, it's a square rubber seal. It's not all that expensive. You can purchase these from Bunnings. Okay, and they, um, they work okay they will provide a nice um watertight seal and keep water out of the um the fitting the original seal was um, a little bit smaller okay and some people claim the seals of these contained asbestos well these are rubber these don't contain any asbestos i wouldn't use asbestos it's it's dangerous okay and asbestos is illegal to use in australia now so all right so that's the um the condition it's in right now as you can see once i'm finished it'll look very similar to the to all the other zodiacs that i restored okay it will get a all this will be cleaned out okay i'll give it a good scrubbing i might have to probably get some rust remover i don't have any rust remover the two screws here for the spigot arm are completely stuck i sprayed a little wd on them but it doesn't seem to work i might have to probably get a plumber's torch and try heating them up to loosen them Okay, the screw for this is completely shot, so I might have to probably cut it up, cut it off with the um, with the with the Dremel and just drill and tap a new thread. Okay, um, so the uh, these parts here, which are used to keep the diffuser on, these parts here are quite good. There's nothing wrong with these; they're pretty clean. Okay, um, so. Um, I used to just keep these on the fitting. Okay, I don't anymore. I figured out that I could just... Um, and these are actually held on with rivets. So I sawed the rivets off with the hacksaw. Okay, I'm actually going to use a um, an M5 metric nut and bolt to reinstall these. So that hole there will have to be drilled out bigger to accommodate it. I'll have to tap an M5 thread and then use a dome nut. And then I can reinstall this. I'll be using stainless steel screws and stuff and nuts and bolts because they won't rust away. Okay. Um, and uh, and these here are the little um, the little uh, caps that go on there. And these are actually an imperial thread. They're actually a quarter, quarter thread. Okay, I just used the um, 
a quarter die to recut the thread on it. Okay, and um, that's what I and I also did that with all the um, the art the previous zodiacs and the and the um, the watt ray and the couple of peer lights there. They always have um, quarter threads. Okay, they all use imperial um, imperial threads. Um, these screws here are five sixteenth. Okay, and that's the tapper for them. If I can ever get them out, if I get them out, I can use this to recut the threads inside the, um, to recut the threads. Okay, so, um, so yeah, all these used imperial threads. Okay, now when I, um, put these back on, I'll be using M4, M4 screws to reinstall these. I'll just drill and tap new threads into the holes here to, um, to accommodate them. Same for these these parts <clears throat> okay um now this one here actually came with a photo cell unlike the like, like unlike the last zodiacs um here's the um the little uh dome that goes on top of the on top of the baton for the photo cell there is a few cracks in it but i can use some super glue to fix them okay this thing was dirty um i might even soak it in a bit of mineral terps for a few hours and see if that helps to clean it up but this thing here isn't yellowed, okay, unlike that um, diffuser, you can see that thing is absolutely yellowed. Okay, they, the diffusers on these had a problem with yellowing, it's called oxcavation. On some of the uh, pre other Zodiacs that I have, the diffusers weren't weren't so bad, they were actually still transparent on most of them. Oops. Okay, so, so what I'll do with this is I'll hit it with the, the water compressor and try to clean up most of that as possible. Okay, um, that diffuser will need a good clean. I might just hit it with the compressor and see if I can figure a way to how to unyellow it, make it transparent. It was, it would have been like this one at one point, but um, uh, on these green dales, they, they they don't yellow as much. Okay, for some reason, but on these old zodiacs and um, even the what rays and the peer lights, they have a habit of oxidating. All right. Now, if you look at this uh, plate, you can see. I'll turn it around to show you the the gear, the original gear. This still has all the original gear on it. You can see there's the um, original ballast that comes with these lights originally. On some of the previous zodiacs, the ones that I kept as fluorescent, I put the um, put the modern type CMP ballasts on them. Okay. Uh, you can probably see I've got another plate there which which has them. Okay. Uh, this ballast here is pretty much shot. It's all rusted, so that thing will have to go in the bin. It's probably not, probably won't work. Um, this photo cell receptacle, um, I probably might have to replace it because one of the wires is missing off of it. Okay, so that may need to be replaced. These I'll replace with some HPM uh, 390s. Okay, I think those might even be HPMs, just really, really old ones. Um, so I'll have to get some rust remover for this plate. All this wiring will be replaced. Okay, like on all the other Zodiacs I restored. Okay, and there's still bits of crumbs and stuff coming off of this from the rust pigmentations. These lamp holders I'll replace with HPM 382s. I'm actually out of them right now. I'll have to get some more. Um, so they're the lamp holders. Those are actually made by Peerlight. Those lamp holders, they're not, um, but the, the Peerlight don't make these anymore, but HPM make make aftermarket um, versions which are the exact same footprint <coughs> okay now i do believe getting that ballast off might be a challenge because this screw here is so so badly rusted but if i um but for the other zodiacs um these holes are big enough to accommodate an m5 um an m5 nut and bolt so i um when i put the ballasters on them i used m5 stainless steel nuts and bolts and they actually fit through there okay um, I do believe, um, and because the stainless steel doesn't rust away, it would have been nice if they actually used stainless steel parts on these because they probably would have still been in good condition. But unfortunately, they used, I think these might have been zinc plated, and zinc plated stuff just rusts. Okay, so that is my, um, my current um, Zodiac restoration project. Okay, probably might take a few days to do. Um, I do need to get, more, get some of these. Okay, I'll have to order some, and they're actually not cheap. The HPM 382s are not cheap. They're like $16 a piece. So for four of these, it's probably going to cost me $50 or something to just to restore this. And even this one here, I might have to probably replace the ones on here. And these ones will probably need a um, 
a packing plate because I can see they're actually a bit thicker. So um, for the um, for those there, I had to use packing plates for the lamp holders, which I made out of washers. Okay, most likely for this one, I might have to use packing plates. Now this did come with tubes, and unfortunately the tubes had blown, so I had to pretty much just throw them in the bin. They were no good. Okay, these ones here, the tubes might still work. I'll put, take them inside and test them in one of my, the battens I have and see if they actually do still run. Okay, but, <clears throat> but yeah, that's my... Um, this is what as Ferguson Zodiac looks like before it's restored, okay? Usually, if you still find these, they tend to end up as rusted piles of metal because they date back to the 60s. Um, they're obsolete now. You can't get them anymore. Um, but they are collectible, and if you do come across one like this, okay, I would recommend you completely restore it. Some um, of the streetlight collectors um, have these, which they've restored, okay, but I, but I restore them to make them look new. Um, now, normally these chassis you see here, they're not painted, but I like to paint them. just makes them look, look nice, and um, you can see on the outside, the chassis isn't as bad as the inside of it. So this is where your um, top spigot arm goes, and that's where the photo cell goes. This part would like, you know, would sit on top there. Okay. Um, I could just, I'll put, I'll do is I'll hit that with the wire brush, and that will get all that crap off of there. Okay. And now I've got to see if I can get this part out. That's actually a separate part. So this part here, I should be able to get out. On some of the previous zodiacs, it was completely stuck. I couldn't get it out. Okay. So um, if I can't get that out, so what I might do is just cut this part off okay or um or just figure out how i can get it out okay so because that's a rubber insert that you use to run your spigot arm through <clears throat> okay so the side mounting for top mounting you use this hole here and a top mounting arm looks like this okay okay so that's a top mounting arm the fitting basically just screws onto this um this thread and then you can top mount it Okay, top mounting isn't commonly used nowadays. It's pretty much dead, unless you're talking decorative street lights like the Sylvania Park Vale, Park vale um, fittings. But but this one here is just an old Zodiac. Just gonna make it look new. Okay, and so this is pretty awesome. Now I've got another one. So I now have, I think this is my fifth Zodiac that I've got now. So I've got five Zodiacs, okay. Um, I've got one out the out the front of the shed okay and i got three in my bedroom okay now i've got another one because these are, are really rare nowadays okay you'll still find them in maybe um some factories or um so maybe even some abandoned places or maybe um on poles uh where they where they were missed okay but they are or even electrical substations but they are very um very nice lights i like these okay and, um, so yeah, so, yeah, so, you know, I bet this is probably going to be a challenge cleaning this thing up, but what I'll do is I'll just hit it with the, um, the compressor and that should help clean it up and get it up, get it as good as I can get it. For this thing here, I'll have to see if I can get some rust remover and just soak it in there to help get all that rust off of there. <clears throat> okay. And then I can, and then I'll strip it down and then I'll give it a scrub with the wire brush and then I'll, um, and then we'll, uh, repaint it okay it does have holes here for um zip ties okay i think that one there looks a bit clogged up for the other zodiacs i just i, to, I drilled an additional hole about here okay so 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 there that's um i think that's technically all there is to this current restoration project um and of course um the uh greendale i've not had a greendale so this is my first one and it looks like it might need a new seal from the looks of things, but but that's a Greendale, okay? Um, I don't know if it's a Fawn, if it's made by Fawn, but it could even be made by GEC, I don't really know. I'll have to take a look and see who it's made by, okay? Because these um, are quite a unique light, to be honest. And from the looks of things, it looks like it uses the, um, the same type of ballast as modern uh, battens do, so I'll be interested to see what this one's going to be like when I get to get to it okay so um hope you enjoyed and that'll be it